Hello and welcome to a new video. This is not a how-to video, this is a video about I've seen a video on the internet and I'm doing it myself now. <laughs> I want to exchange the batteries on my notebook. Yeah, this is my notebook. Uh, it's an uh, IBM ThinkPad T580 and it has one internal accumulator, one internal battery and one exchangeable battery and I already exchanged the exchangeable battery and it's still not good yeah, so the internal battery is is old yeah this is what bothers me most so every battery powered thing I've got so far every notebook every telephone those batteries will get crap <laughs> I'm not satisfied with this solution. There should be really... This is actually what is holding me back from buying an electric car. Right? This battery stuff that I don't want to... Do. Oh, this is another topic. So, I ordered batteries online at a site called notebook, uh, notebookakku.at AT. AT is the top level domain for Austria. Because I thought, okay, local vendor and so on. Haha, <laughs> local vendor. I received a, a confirmation from China. This thing came from Netherlands, external from custom. It still has to pass the customs and so on. Uh, it took three weeks. Yeah, local vendor. Sure. Yeah. So, okay. So I bought something apparently in China on an Austrian site. Uh, and yeah. Let's open this package and see, see if this the right stuff is inside. Now, three weeks after the order. Local vendor. Okay. Oh, screwdrivers inside. All right, all right. At least it looks like, at least it looks like it is the correct product. Let's compare the external accumulator. Uh, yes, looking like it fits. So I assume also this device here fits. This accumulator, this internal accumulator. So zip it open. open looking good looking good all right so accumulators unpacked and now I have to deal with my computer I've seen in the internet to to uh, replace the internal battery you have to you have to exchange this uh, to to, to uh, separate this from the power supply of the computer so i'm going to power up this computer now and I'm going to film this i have to enter the the I have to enter the BIOS. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay. <laughs> Must be somewhere. Power. Disable built-in battery. I think that's the correct entry. System will be powered down if you select yes. Do you want to proceed? Yes. Good. Now the internal battery should be <laughs> disabled. Now I should be able to open this stuff. 
close. Also disable the external battery. So original battery. And this got really fast crap. So I have to open a lot of screws and find all the necessary screws. I hope I do. So I will use my tool set over here. Since I'm not sure what I have to, to do, I'm using here. Let's see. Oh, this is not very. Okay, it's easy to unscrew. I'm not sure if it should be that easy, but it is. I don't even need a bigger handle, I just need the bit. Apparently not every screw is that easy to, to unscrew, so I will use the handle. This did not sound promising. I'm not sure if I have to get loose all the, all the screws. And now I somehow should be able to open this stuff. Okay, this did work. One dip, remove your SD card. <laughs> remove the SD card. All right, this is how this looks like. Here's the battery. Is this the same battery where I put it? It's looking, it's looking like it should look like that way. All right. And this looks the same. This looks the same. Yeah, unscrew. Unscrew the battery. Need a smaller bit. Four. There are four little screws. Five. And it's moving. So this is how this looks like. A little bit dust. I'll get the vacuum cleaner and clean this here, this stuff. <clears throat> Do I have a pencil somewhere? Okay, looking good. Yeah, I get the vacuum cleaner and suck this dirt a little bit out. Now that it's open, I will do that. Huh? See you soon. All right, so vacuum cleaner. There's a lot of stuff inside here. It's this. This thing is also not working proper. This is the, it's the card. The, this should be, this should have uh, uh, 3G uh, internet stuff, yeah. <laughs> I think, or 4G or whatever, whatever G. Not too extreme. This should be sufficient. I think this should be sufficient. I think this should be sufficient. Overall, I must say I'm pretty satisfied how this looks here. What is this? What is this? Fibercom model wireless. I think this is this wireless module for the maybe I just have to wiggle it a little bit. I'll do this as well. It's not working anyway. Uh, 
All right. Now it's rectangular inside. Hmm. Battery. Good. Let's grab this the old battery. Don't put in the old battery. Put in the new battery. Where is the new battery? Here. Let's grab the new battery. Screw it inside. Okay. Plug it in. Good. Everything fits, everything is tight. The cover. Ooh, maybe I should clean the cover as well. Hopefully no screws are falling out. Yes, I should clean the cover as well. <laughs> so. I have to say I'm actually I'm pretty happy with how this looks like there inside. I have expected much more dirt. You know? All right. So let's place the cover. Let's see if it snaps in place. Mm -hmm. Sounds promising. Tighten the screws. External battery fits as well. All right, and as soon as I plug this in, the internal battery should go online again. They say, or I've seen. <laughs> so, what I have ever done here in the BIOS with the uh, Disable internal battery should be fixed or should be undone by plugging this to plugging this to AC supply. It's blinking. It's blinking. It's blinking. I'm going to turn it on. It's getting hot somewhere. No. I feel maybe it will. Uh -huh. Okay, lit. Lenovo. Okay, starting up at least. Takes long. Unauthorized network card is plugged in. What does this mean, huh? I should not have touched this network card.
it is the 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 wireless LAN card because actually now it's removed it's here yeah? and it's booting good okay I managed to solve solve the issue I disabled I disabled the the WW LAN so the, the internet part I want to enable it now and see if this is still persisting. I am now able to access again uh, Wi-Fi network. This is good. Yeah. Let's see if I am enabling if I am enabling the Security, uh, IO port access, I'm enabling now also wireless one. And now let's see if this makes the different safe changes and exit. Looks like, it looks like, yes. This was, this is a problem. Let's disable this again. Now it's booting. So it seems like my wireless my wireless uh, WAN, wide area network adapter has some error. I knew it had some error uh, because it was not working. Yeah, but it, up to now it did not cause any problem. But now it caused a problem. And now I'm happy again that it's working as before. Okay. This is, this is not too bad. So I will now power down. and install the accumulator where is the accumulator because this is still off here screw everything together why this is cost why this has been cost now i'm not sure honestly i am not sure so clamp everything together again screw everything inside Let's hope this thing it was worth. Let's hope it was worth it. The repair. Huh? I don't think I've done something wrong. I'm pretty sure I've done something that I've done nothing wrong. I'm not very satisfied, I must say, with this behavior of those devices. Ooh, we need a whitelist, a network card and whatever. It is recognizing two accumulators. That's good. Yeah. Again, it was not that easy. What I still want to, to check is is here my my there th this was my fault i have to say this was really my fault with this adapter here this i have done wrong okay but it's working Yeah. 
an SD card reader because I tried to unplug this with the SD card reader with an SD card inside. At least it was not an SD card, it was just an adapter of the SD card. I'm usually having this here inside to be ready for small and big SDs. Good. Good. So that's it. As seen on the internet, tried it and ran into problems. Yeah? Never trust the video. <laughs> for this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.